Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes. While in the previous edition I discussed about the negation of statements in symbolic logic, whether it's a simple or compound statement, today and in the succeeding three other editions, I will specifically discuss the different types of compound statements. But before we proceed, you might want to consider subscribing to our channel, especially if you are new here, just so, you know, you would get notified when we have new videos and you'd be able to follow through the discussions. So feel free to subscribe, just simply click on the subscribe button below. Alright, let's move on. So. Basically, there are four types of compound statement used in symbolic logic, namely conjunctive, disjunctive, conditional, and biconditional. And in this edition, I will focus only on conjunctive statements. So, a conjunctive statement or conjunction is a compound statement connected by the word and. The component statements in a conjunction are called conjuncts. Let's consider this example. Roses are red and jasmines are white. Obviously, this statement is a conjunction because it is connected by the word and. The first statement roses are red is the first conjunct and the statement jasmines are white is the second conjunct. In the first edition of this series on symbolic logic, I have mentioned that the symbol for AND is dot. Now, if we let P stand for roses are red and Q for jasmines are white, then the statement roses are red and jasmines are white is symbolized as follows P and Q now in some cases a conjunctive statement does not use the word and as a connective sometimes the following words are used as connectives of a conjunctive statement but however nevertheless even though whereas although while, still, or yet. Let us consider these following examples. 1. Chocolate is delicious, but it is not a good food for people with diabetes. 2. Lucas is playing while Rob is studying. And 3. The teacher was already shouting, yet the students remain very noisy. In cases where there are no words that signify a conjunction, a comma or semicolon may indicate that the statement is a conjunction. Consider this. Although the human person is mortal, she can live long. Well, as you can notice, I have been symbolizing statements here and in my previous editions, but it is not until now that I will specifically talk about symbolizing statements. Firstly, logicians usually put the variables or constants that will represent the statement right after the statement per se. Consider this example. Chocolate is delicious but it is not a good food for people with diabetes. P and Q Please note that the uh, variables provided after the statement represent the component statements respectively. Thus, in this example, the variable P represents the first component statement, chocolate is delicious, while Q represents the second component statement, it is not a good food for people with diabetes. 
Secondly, when symbolizing statements, we need to put proper punctuations and negation if necessary. Thus, in the same example as above, the statement chocolate is delicious is represented by P, while the statement it is not a good food for people with diabetes is represented by Q. And if we are not careful, we may symbolize the statement as follows, P and Q. However, if we analyze the statement, we notice that the second component contains a negation sign, it is not the case. Hence the statement, chocolate is delicious, but it is not a good food for people with diabetes, is symbolized as follows. P and not Q. It is important to note that sometimes the word and is not truth functional. That is, it does not connect two independent propositions. Thus, if this occurs, we should symbolize the proposition simply as a simple proposition. Consider this example. Bread and butter is a perfect combination. Obviously, the and in the example is not truth functional because it does not connect two truth functional propositions or sentences. This is because we cannot say that bread is a perfect combination and butter is a perfect combination. Hence, the proposition bread and butter is a perfect combination is symbolized simply as P. However, if we have this example, John and Mary are watching TV, then we have to symbolize this as P and Q. This is because the end here is truth functional, that is, it connects two independent propositions or sentences. For sure, it is possible to say that John is watching TV and Mary is watching TV. In other words, both John and Mary are watching TV. At this point, let's proceed to the rules in conjunction. So the rules in conjunction states that first, a conjunction is true if and only if both conjuncts are true. And second, if at least one of the conjuncts is false, then the conjunction is false. Let me illustrate this point in a truth table. And so, if P is true and Q is true, then P and Q is true. If P is true and Q is false, then P and Q is false. If P is false and Q is true, then P and Q is false. And if P is false and Q is also false, then P and Q is false. Now, given the rule in conjunction, how do we determine the truth value of the conjunctive statement P and not Q? Let us suppose that the truth value of P is true and Q is false. So if P is true and Q is false, then the statement P and not Q is true. To illustrate this, we say P is true and Q is false. Now, before we apply the rule in conjunction in the statement, 
P and not Q. We need to simplify not Q first, because the truth value false is assigned to Q and not to not Q. Thus, if we can recall our discussion in the rule of negation, we learn that the negation of false is true. So if Q is false, then not Q is true. Thus, at the end of it all, P and not Q is true. If P is true and Q is false. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes as we try to make the understanding of philosophy incredibly easy. Keep looking forward to our series of editions on the topic symbolic logic. And I hope you find this material helpful. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.